Frist Dam Pumps is a leading manufacturer of high quality sanitary stainless steel pumps, blenders, and mixers. FKL Positive Displacement Pump, Seal Replacement. Before beginning, follow your company's lockout, tagout procedure. Reference the maintenance manual online for additional safety precautions, tool sizes, torque values, and technical information. Tools required. Soft-faced hammer. Food-grade lubricant. Allen wrench. Torque wrench. Screwdriver. One-inch diameter dowel. FKL pumps do not require gapping if simply changing a seal. Removing the seal. Remove the cover nuts and washers. Remove the cover by turning the forcing screws clockwise. Remove the cover and discard the cover O-ring. Place a dowel between the two rotors and rotate them with the socket wrench until the dowel is held in place. Loosen the first rotor bolt. Remove the dowel, place it between the rotors on the opposite side and repeat the process to loosen the second rotor bolt. Remove the dowel, remove the rotor bolts and rotor bolt washers. Discard all O-rings. Remove the rotors and rotor O-rings. Discard the rotor O-rings. Remove the housing screws. Carefully slide the housing forward and remove. Seal replacement. Place the pump housing face down. Loosen the seal housing screws. Remove the seal housing screws, seal cartridges and seal housing O-rings. Remove the two rotating seals and rotating seal O-rings from the pump shaft. Discard the seals and O-rings. Mechanical seal cartridge disassembly. Place all of the seal parts on a clean work area and disassemble one cartridge at a time. Place the seal cartridge with the seal face up onto a flat surface. Compress the seal so that all of the pressure is off of the seal retaining ring. Pry the seal retaining ring out of the seal housing. Use your fingers to gently press the two seal elements out of the seal housing. Remove the double and single seal springs. Remove the outer seal O-ring. Discard all elements of the seal except the cartridge housing and pins. For larger models, remove the seal cartridge O-rings and discard. The seal housing should be cleaned to prepare it for reassembly. Mechanical Seal Cartridge Assembly When replacing a seal, use all of the components of the new seal kit and discard all old seal components. Failure to use Fristam genuine parts will void the pump warranty and can result in seal failure. Assemble the cartridges one at a time. Slightly stretch the new flush seal O-ring. Fit it into the groove inside the seal housing. Place the inner and outer seal springs into the seal housing. Lubricate the new inner stationary seal as shown and place into the seal housing. Lubricate the outer edge of the flush seal or seal insert and place into the seal housing. Be sure to fit the notches around the pins. Press the seal to check for compression. Set the seal retaining ring on top of the seal housing. Push down on the flush seal until it is past the seal retaining ring groove. Use your fingers to fit the seal retaining ring into place. Mechanical seal cartridge installation.
place the pump housing face down. Install the seal housing O-rings into the grooves in the seal housing. For larger models, install the seal cartridge O-rings into the new seal cartridges. Install one of the seal cartridges onto the pump housing with the flat side toward the middle. Insert the seal housing screws through the hole in the seal cartridge and finger tighten. Double mechanical seal only. Place the double seal housing O-ring into the groove on the secured seal cartridge. Install the other new seal cartridge onto the pump housing by repeating the procedure. Torque the seal housing screws on both cartridges. Clean the seal faces with alcohol. Install a new rotating seal O-ring into the groove on each shaft. Lubricate the inner diameter of the rotating seals and install them onto the shafts. Make sure to align the flats on the seals with the flats on the shafts. The rotating seal O-ring will be visible if the seal is seated properly. Gently clean the rotating seal surfaces with alcohol. Pump head assembly. Note, any debris between the gearbox and pump housing will affect the rotor gap. Make sure the raised faces on the front of the gearbox and the back face of the housing are clean. Carefully slide the housing onto the studs and over the shafts with the serial number on top. Use a torque wrench to tighten the housing screws. Install the rotor O-ring on the back side of each rotor. Install the rotor with the rotor O-rings facing the back of the housing. Note, the rotor with one dot should be installed on the drive shaft and the rotor with two dots should be installed on the idle shaft. Install the rotor bolt washer O-rings onto the rotor bolt washers. Install the rotor bolt O-rings onto the rotor bolts. Install the rotor bolt assemblies onto the rotors. Place a dowel between the rotors. Use a torque wrench to tighten the rotor bolts. Remove the dowel. Install the cover O-ring onto the cover. Ensure that the cover forcing screws are backed out. Carefully slide the cover onto the housing with the serial number facing up to match the position on the housing. Install cover nuts and cover nut washers. Use a torque wrench to tighten the cover nuts. The pump is now ready to be placed back into service.